been a while, but I'm finally back. What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to Colo Craft Bushcraft. This is your first time here. My name's Alex and this channel is all about my journey trying to learn and develop bushcraft skills. Uh, I've been away from YouTube for about a year or so, but now I'm back on my journey and inviting you guys to come along and walk on my wild side. Um, today's video uh, is a way for me to refresh your memory on what the channel's all about, revitalize my own interest uh, in creating content and hopefully getting you guys excited for what's to come in the future. Um, so before we kind of relaunch Colo Craft Bushcraft, we're going to take a trip down memory lane and we're going to revisit five of my favorite shoots. Uh, I had such a good time not only making these but re-watching them uh, and it's the re-watching that's really ignited that spark uh, that started my channel in the first place. So sit back, relax, enjoy, let's get wild. This first clip uh, is from the first time I ever did a solo overnighter. Uh, it was early on both in terms of bushcraft and YouTube and I didn't feel particularly comfortable talking in front of the camera. Um, so I actually said nothing the entire time and just put music over it in the edit. Uh, but it was really special. Um, it had rained a lot. Uh, the river had burst its banks so it actually looked like I was camping in front of a lake. Uh, the scenery was awesome and I got some really cool shots of the, of the sunset over the water. Uh, it, just felt, it just felt really nice to, to be out. Um, and really kind of confirmed to me that the bushcraft thing wasn't just a phase, uh, it was something that I truly enjoyed and could see myself doing uh, quite a lot in the future. Um, so check it out. This next one uh, is a trip that I did with a couple of friends of mine. Uh, we drove out to a spot of woodland, hiked in for about 20 minutes and then set up camp. Uh, we basically spent two nights just relaxing in the woods, eating good food, uh, having a few beers and playing daft games around the campfire. Um, it's always fun camping with these boys and, and this trip's definitely among my favorites. <laughs> you know how you didn't bring a... I didn't even anything. bring a roll mat or anything. I've, I've got a secondary tarp which I'm going to fill with foliage. I'll create a match. I'm going to fashion myself a mattress. <laughs> it's going to be comfy as <laughs> You film Okay, well that'll be beat. <laughs> <laughs> People around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like people. It's not alright. We do not like people. Ah, you know, know what? Just Let's just. I just play, play on that. Wow. Much louder, much louder. Humans can get bent. Okay. Good. Yummy! <laughs> Slop. Just a massive scorn, isn't it? Really? <laughs> Essentially, yeah. yeah. How is my ball sack here? <laughs> it's enormous and it hangs wide to the right. Enormous ball sack. How much do you want? You should be good. Whatever you want to give me. Yeah. Okay. So we should probably start talking about your My enormous ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> and it hangs wide to the right. <laughs> 
probably still remains Bulgaria's all-time top scorer. All right, next up, we have the building and evolution of Camp Cola Craft. So for anyone that doesn't know, I set up a, a permanent shelter as a base from which to make uh, loads of videos. It was essentially the only place that I could go during COVID, so I shot the majority of my stuff there. Uh, it was the first time I'd ever made a shelter like this, uh, and over the course of a couple of years, it changed quite a few times. You know, I tried new things, uh, changed the setup a few times, uh, tried things that didn't work, uh, and eventually had to take the, take the whole thing down. Um, I've included it in this video because it really was a, a major project for me. Uh, I had some brilliant times there. I really enjoyed it. And at some point in the future, I'm really hoping to be able to recreate it and build another uh, permanent shelter somewhere. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun um, filming. We have the bad, we have the good stuff, and we have the... What, what is the good stuff? Okay, well, the good stuff is... I think it's, um... Uh, Callum 18, or something like Callum 18. I've got a, uh... Got a eagle. I should have had a very nice one, of us. but he is jail or Christ, when I was in the house, they... Sorry, <laughs> That's true. They are, you should leave that in. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> One more bacon and coffee. Get out of bed then. Lazy. Well, that went somewhere. Shit. So this next clip uh, is a video that I shot at my camp to celebrate Beltane. Uh, if you don't know what Beltane is, go back and watch the, uh, the actual video, but essentially it's a, a pagan celebration of what's now called May Day. Uh, I spent some time revamping my camp under the constant threat of a thunderstorm, and just as I finished my little celebration, you know, jumping over the fire and stuff like that, the heavens erupted. Uh, it was so cool uh, being out in the storm, and it's something that I, I think I'll always remember. You guys hear that? Luckily mine's quite small, eh? <laughs> Beltane fire ain't gonna last long. Love that sound. Gods are angry! <laughs> wow, look at it. Cleansing.
Lastly, we've got my first ever canoe trip. Uh, my friend Andy and I went up to Bedfordshire, uh, rented a couple of kayaks and paddled up the River Great Ooze uh, and spent a night at a campsite um, up there. Uh, despite the rain and, and badly burning my finger, uh, I had the best time. Um, being on the water was amazing. It was so calm and relaxing, which was helpful considering both of us have sort of little to no paddling experience at the time. Um, it just felt like a real adventure uh, and it's something that I definitely want to try again at some point on a, on a much bigger scale. So yeah, check it out. Well, get the shot. Well, <laughs> we made it. Yeah, we did. We're still alive. Yeah. We did not catch eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yet. May have gone the wrong way twice. Yeah. But that's not the point. And we got twice. Be we twice. got beached just up there. Oh, we did go twice. Yeah, yeah. We did get grounded further up than we were supposed to be. <laughs> apparently, apparently this you is really, really obvious. You can't miss you it. Can't you can't miss, miss the mooring point. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can't miss the mooring point. So clear. So with, with, its, with its sign, it is. What? Yeah, can, what, 40 yards in there. Yeah, can, it, can, any, of you oh, guys, can any of you guys see it? Nah. Considering we actually put, we put a lot of sun cream on. A lot of sun cream. Well, we I put did, some fair, sun cream. On. I didn't put any on my arm. Oh, you didn't? No. So I deserve that fully. Hundred percent. It's almost like picking up a pot. I mean, out of a fireplace. It's just stupid. <laughs> so you deserve what you get. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Peace. Say good night, Irishman. Peace. So there you have it five of my favorite moments over the past few years. Hopefully those clips have reminded you what this channel's all about. Uh, of course, if you want to re-watch any of those videos in full, because these are only tiny little samples, you know, please do go back and do so. Um, in terms of future, I've got loads of really cool stuff planned. I actually moved house recently, so I'm, uh, I'm now based in Devon, which means I'm a lot closer to things like Dartmoor, uh, the coast. Uh, I should have access to, I'm hoping to get access to about 30 acres of woodland as well. Um, so I really feel now that I'm in a better position to, you know, push the channel, create content and really kind of grow the Colo Craft brand. Um, so look, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you're interested in the future. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Take care.